afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. How did you get here today? My husband gave me a ride. Your husband gave you a ride? Yes, officer. Excellent. Do you understand why you're here today? Yes, I'm here for my citizenship interview. Great. Before we begin, would you please raise up your right hand? Sure. Do you promise to tell the truth and nothing else but the truth, so help you God? Yes, I do. Put your hand down, please. Do you understand what an oath means? Yes, I do. What is an oath? An oath is the promise to tell the truth. Good. Have a seat, please. Thank you. Why didn't your husband come in? The letter said that due to the COVID-19 situation, the number of people that can come into the office is limited. I understand. Okay, good. Excellent. We're going to begin your citizenship interview with some civic questions. Is that okay with you? Yes, officer. Great. Question number one. What does the president's cabinet do? The president's cabinet advises the president. Good. Once, what state borders Canada? New York. New York. Why did the colonists fight the British? Because of high taxes. Because of high taxes. What are taxes? Taxes is the money we pay to the government. Okay, excellent. Under our constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? One power of the federal government is to print money. Great. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? I'm sorry, officer, can you please repeat the question? Sure. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? Communism. Communism. What is communism? Communism means no freedom in a country. Okay, you got it. Very good. How many U.S. senators are there? There are 100 senators. 100 senators. Why do we have 100 senators? Because there are two senators for each state. Very good answer. Good job. We elect a U.S. senator for how many years? For six years. For six years. Okay. You're doing great so far. You Thank passed you. your civic questions. Now we're going to move on to the second part. I'm going to have you read a few sentences for me, please. Sure. Could you please read what it says here? Okay. Who can vote? Number two. Where does the president live? In number three. When is Columbus Day? Columbus Day. Okay, mm -hmm. let me have this back. Thank you so much. Good job. Now, I want you to read the following sentences. Could you please mm -hmm. do that? Okay, listen to number one. Citizens can vote. Number two, the president lives in the White House. Okay. And number three, Columbus Day is in October. May I see the paper? Sure. Thank you so much. Citizens can vote. President lives in the White House. Good. Stays in October. Excellent. So far, you're doing well. Congratulations. Thank You've you. You've passed the reading and writing part. Thank you, officer. Good. Now we're going to go to the personal questions. Are you ready for the personal questions? Yes, I am. Ready. Excellent. Let me ask you this question. Tell me three things you did this morning before coming to your citizenship interview. This morning, I took a shower, I prayed, and I had my breakfast. 
Okay, great. Good, excellent. What is your complete name? My complete name is Marina Hera. Great, excellent. Marina Hera, who do you live with? I live with my husband. With your husband. Okay, great. What's your current address? My current address is 701 Main Avenue, Passaic, New Jersey, 07055. Okay, great. Do you live in a house or an apartment? I live in an apartment. You live in an apartment? Okay, great. Would you like to legally change your name? No, thank you. Okay. How tall are you? I am five feet, six inches tall. Five feet. Through which port of entry were you admitted into the United States for the first time? Through JF Kennedy Airport. Good. Excellent. What's your date of birth? My date of birth is January 7, 1984. Great. And how do you support yourself? My husband supports me. Your husband supports me. Okay, good. How do you go to work? I don't work, officer. Okay. So what's your occupation? I'm a housewife. Okay, good. You're a housewife. How many times have you been married? Only one time, officer. Only one time? Yes. Great. And how many times has your spouse been married? Twice. Twice? Okay, great. Are you an American citizen? No, I am not. Would you like to become an American citizen? Yes, officer. Why would you like to become an American citizen? I really like this country. I like the job opportunities in this country and I would like to vote. Okay, very good. You would like to vote? Yes. Are your parents American citizens? No, they are not. I understand they are not. Is your spouse an American citizen? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Do you know when he became an American citizen? He became an American citizen in 2010. 2010, okay, very good. How long have you been a permanent resident? I have been a permanent resident for three years. For three years, okay. So why are you eligible to become a US citizen? Because I have been a permanent resident for three years and I am married to an American citizen. Okay, I understand. Okay, very good. Do you pay taxes? Yes, I do. Okay. When was the last time you paid taxes? Last time I paid my taxes in March uh, 2020. Okay, very good, March 2020. Since becoming a permanent resident, have you filed taxes every year? Yes, I have. Yes, you have. Mm -hmm. Do you owe any federal, state, or local taxes? No, I don't. You don't owe any taxes? No. Have you ever failed to file taxes? No, never. Okay. Is your spouse currently working? Yes. Yes, he is? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. How did you come to the office? I came walking. Walking? Mm -hmm. Since becoming a permanent resident, have you ever traveled to a foreign country? Yes, I have. Where did you go? I went to Canada. Excellent. And when was the last time you traveled? On October 2019. 2019. How long were you there? I was there for five days. For five days. What was the reason for your trip? I went on my vacation. You went on your vacation? Okay. Did you like it? Yes, officer, I did. Okay, great. Do you have any documentation that shows your name and your spouse's name together? 
Yes, officer. I have a few documents here. Sure. What do you have? Um, recently, we bought a car with my husband. A car. Also, we have a debit card together. And uh, we have a lease uh, agreement for the apartment that we rent. You rent an apartment? Yes. All right. So you have a bank account together. Mm -hmm. Bank account. And what's that document there? This is an apartment lease. Okay, that's a lease. So this mm -hmm. is the bank account. And you said that you have a car? Yes. When did you buy it? We bought it last year in September. Last year in September. What else do you have? This is all I have today. Okay. Could you please tell me a little more about your husband? My husband likes to go to the park. So we go to the park a lot. We go hiking, walking. We like to go out. We like to explore new places. We like to go out to eat together. Okay, I see. Is there any sport in particular that, you, that your husband likes? My husband likes jogging. So we go to the park a lot and we jog together. Okay. So who wakes up first in the morning? My husband usually wakes up first. He wakes up first? Yes. Okay. Do you cook for your husband? Yes, officer. How often do you cook for him? Every morning I wake up to cook breakfast for him before he goes to work. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Good job. Congratulations. You're doing well so far. We're going to go to the final stage of our interview. I'm going to ask you a few questions. Please pay attention to what I have to ask you, okay? Sure. Have you ever committed, assisted in committing or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? No, never. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer, including any immigration official or any official of the U.S. Armed Forces for any reason? Yes, officer. I was detained. You were detained? Yes. Okay, you were detained. Why were you detained? I was detained for speeding. For speeding. Yes. Why were you speeding? I was rushing to get to work. You were rushing to go to work. Okay. Did you go to court? No, I didn't. Okay. Did you get any points? No, officer. Okay, good. When did this happen? It happened last year. Last year? Okay, good. Do you have the specific date when it happened? It happened in November 2019. November 2019. Okay, good. Have you ever been charged with committing, attempting to commit, or assisting in committing a crime or offense? No, never. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? No, never. What is a crime? A crime means to break the law. To break the law. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed on probation, or been paroled? No, never. Have you ever been in jail or prison? No, never. What is a prison? It's a place where people are capped for breaking the law. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No, never. Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for, pro for prostitution? No, never. What is prostitution, miss? Prostitution means to have sex for money. Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? No, never. Okay. What is polygamy? Polygamy means to be married to more than one person at the same time. Okay, great. 
Have you ever been married to someone in order to obtain any immigration benefit? No, never. Never? Never. Have you ever have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? No, never. You sure? I'm sure. What is gambling? Gambling means to play for money. To play for money. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No, never. Okay. Have you ever been ordered, removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No, never. What is deportation? Deportation means uh, to be sent back to the country of origin. Okay. Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? No, never. Okay. Have you ever left the United States to avoid being drafted into the U.S. Armed Forces? No, never. Have you ever deserted from the U.S. Armed Forces? No, never. Since becoming a permanent resident, have you always filed your taxes? Yes. Good. Do you support the Constitution and the form of government of the United States? Yes, I do. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I do. What does allegiance mean? Allegiance means loyalty to the United States. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes. What is to bear arms? To bear arms means to defend the country with weapons. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes. What does non-combatant mean? Non-combatant is a person not fighting during a war. Okay, very good. Congratulations, you pass your citizenship test. Thank you, officer. Let me make sure. Okay. Congratulations.